Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to use this and this and show you how to properly load a Hasselblad film back. There's a little bit of trickiness to it. Okay, so first before we start loading it, let's get familiar a little bit with what's on the Hasselblad film back. This is the film release lock right here that lifts up and you turn to unlock and remove the, the film carriage. This is the dark slide right here that covers the film plane so you can swap out backs. This is the uh, release from the camera body. Here is the film advance lever that we are going to use in just a minute or two. This is the frame count window and the shutter cocked indicator. And on the back here we have a um, film memo holder and the film back holder as well. Okay, so now that we know what all the terminology is on the Hasselblad film back, let's see how we're going to load film. The first thing to do is take the dark slide re, um, pull tab and fold it forward. Now we're going to lift out this unlocking pin and rotate it like that. And when we rotate it all the way, the film back is going to pop open. There we go. Got caught a little bit on the film back. So a lot of people, including myself, like to store the film back out of the way when we're doing this so that it's a little bit safer and doesn't get damaged. Now here is the film caddy or cartridge. Lots of people call it different things. This is the expired film spool. We're gonna take it out of here and put it into the take up area. The take up area of the film caddy has this knob. We're gonna need that in just a minute. I've got a new roll of film here. Going to open it up. Now it's gonna seem like I put this on backwards, but it'll make sense in just a minute why I do this. It feels like it should pull the other way, but we wanna have the black side of the film paper facing into, uh, facing the same direction as this. So the printed side is going to touch the film back. As you're loading this, you wanna to try to get the film paper into this clip or just, there we go, is that gonna go? It's gonna try. And we get the film paper into the clip. Yes, there we go. Now pull it through a little further, come on. And we're going to advance the film here to tighten it up on the spool. We're gonna advance now until there's a little orange arrow right here. That aligns with the arrow indicators printed on the film. And because this popped out of the clip, we're gonna massage this in a little bit right here. There we go, that should do it. Having it in the clip like this, this is far from a perfect loading, in, by the way, allows us to slide it into the film back without it catching on the film back as it's loaded. Now at this point in real life, you take your dark slide, you put it back into the camera, but I'm gonna show you what happens as you advance the film. Using the knob on this side, we're going to advance it until we get to frame one. And the advantage and the genius of this system is that it allows an assistant to load up the film all the way to frame one. And here you can see the film coming in so that the photographer can take a ready to shoot at frame one film back and put it on their camera at the same time that they hand the assistant a, a film back that's only been advanced to frame 12 because the assistant can finish advancing it on the film back. Now you'll see that this doesn't line up perfectly. It's not going to crank forward any further once you've advanced it to the frame. So you just rotate it backwards and let it sit into its rest there so that it's out of the way and won't get damaged. Now you can see we're at frame one and the camera is, or the film is ready to have photos taken with it. Uh, and of course you would have had dark slide in the whole time. You can see now that the uh, indicator here is all silver instead of all orange. And as the film is used, that will become progressively more orange. And uh, the film assistant is ready to hand this to the photographer and take the next back and repeat the process over and over. It takes a few minutes, it's a bit fiddly, but um, overall the system is a pretty good one to use and it's important to know how to use it well and properly.